one squad has already walked down this alley. So we're just like walking down pretty confidently. And like these guys just open up. There's one in the alley. There. I got you. Alley looks clear. Go right. On it. Suppressing fire. That was the go command. One tap issues orders to your team based on what you're pointing at. Pin enemies in place with suppressive fire while you flank. Order your team to stack on a door. Reach it! Open the door! On it. The go command makes it as easy to direct your team as it is to fire your weapon. Go, go, go! Marines and soldiers never knew what was waiting for them behind the next door. And if you want a realistic experience, neither can you. Six Days in Fallujah reshapes the battlefield every time you play. Each room, each building, even the entire neighborhood is generated procedurally. Every map is a new map. So just like actual combat, you'll never know what to expect. You hear that? Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scott Blue and welcome back to another YouTube commentary video guys. In this video, you guys just saw some more gameplay of Six Days in Fallujah. And uh, it's looking pretty good. You know, I can't lie, when I was seeing this, I was like, damn, that's, you know, it looks pretty immersive. Um, the different textures in the, uh, like, atmosphere and in the terrain is, looks really nice. All the bullet holes in the walls and, and uh, different micro train looks really good. And I kind of want to break down a little bit of this gameplay. I'm watching it right now. And you guys just saw what I'm going to be talking about. You know, the guy going through the alleyway. And then, um, you know, calling in that suppressing fire uh, order. So it looks really cool. There's some new details that just came out. Um, so it looks like, you know, we're going to have different modes of fire, I would say. Like different angles where you can have, you're going to be looking straight down the sights. Or you, you'll use those front iron sights where you can... You know, kind of fire from the hip or fire from, uh, like, a holding up the gun but not entirely shooting down the sight. Um, maybe there's a different, like, fire selector, like, rapid three-round burst or uh, different firing modes. And then you can see him um, stack up on this door and push into his building. And then our guy is going to give him suppressing fire through the, uh, through the window so nobody shoots out. Looks pretty good. I really like it. 
I think he's going to be really good for a uh, team play and really good for um it's going to be really good for another, you know, hardcore shooter game to come out. And then we got a few guys in this uh, really close course scenario both with their M4s. And then it goes into this really slow down. So this the slow down camera view where the train's changing. So it looks like it's going to be um changing terrain you know the all the buildings are going to change every round you play so you never know what's going to be around that corner which really puts in a really big emphasis on taking this game pretty slow really seeing what's behind each corner and um communicating with your team or with your squad and giving the right orders and uh other things like that so it looks really good i'm i'm really looking forward to this game even more now that we've seen gameplay and then you see him like uh, open the door and he gets fire and then he shoots around the door but doesn't aim entirely down the side. Just kind of put suppressing fire down. It looks like some of that like tree branch stuff is kind of uh, falling, you know, off the tree. It looks really interesting, I think, you know. And then he fires on the two, uh, two three guys down the, on the ground level on the street. And again, he's using those different firing modes. So it's really good. I really want to see, like, some vehicle gameplay or so. That would be really cool. Um, again, clearing more buildings. And I think this game's going to be, you know, co-op or I have a multiplayer section to it. And maybe the campaign will be co-op as well. I definitely could see that. But, um, yeah, I just want to share some quick gameplay with you all. I know it's a really quick video, but it's mostly just, you know, just showing the gameplay. Looks like uh, looks like it's come along very very well. Um, so yeah, that was a very very quick video, guys. Of course, so um, I'm very excited. If you guys are as well, I'll definitely keep you guys updated, like I have been, with this game called Six Days in Fallujah. So it's on Steam. Check it out. Put it in your wish list or whatever. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's very quick. Love you guys. Peace.